Well, Tennessee astronaut Captain Butch Wilmore will return this year as commander of Boeing's Starliner. How about this? Next month, NASA will launch another unmanned test flight and the Wilmore's mission in the fall. Now, recently, I met Captain Wilmore's crew member as we caught up after a training session. That's awesome. This is Mike Fink. He's my crew member. Hey, Mike. How are you? Uh, Hi, nice to meet you. Captain Butch Wilmore and veteran astronaut Mike Fink are 923 miles from Knoxville inside Building 9 at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. So this is where we do all different types of training. There's a gateway, this, this, this right here, right here is what the, will orbit in the vicinity of the moon. Over here, you see over there is Orion, the capsule Orion, where we do the same type of egress type training that we're doing in the Boeing Starliner. Wilmore, Fink, and Marine astronaut Nicole Mann will be aboard NASA's first crewed flight of the Boeing Starliner spacecraft. This is the training module. You can see the seats, there's three seats. The far seat on the far side, is the command seat, that's where I go, then the pilot seat, and this seat here is the mission specialist. While the space vehicle is new, this mission is not. Six months aboard the International Space Station. It's Wilmore's third trip and Fink's fourth trip. Mike will tell you this, he's, he's got like 300, almost 340 days in space. Yeah, so let's just shy of 400. So he's like number four on the all-time U.S. list or something like that. Hey, we'd rather send him. We'd like to see him in space. Still, they train for every aspect of the mission in the air, on land, and even water. We train for major malfunctions, multiple major malfunctions, so we can handle it. It's not just for the for our training in the in the spacecraft. It's also for the ground team's training, mission control. So that includes training for science, and training for other payloads that we uh, that we work on, but also how to live day to day, how to fix the toilet. That's another thing, but also <laughs> things like space books. That's important. It, yeah, oh yeah. It, 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 so you, you'll miss it when it's gone. And Captain Wilmore is wearing the Starliner spacesuit. This Ash, is, it's, uh, it's got uh, this cooling unit attached to me and it's got an integrated helmet as you can see, that, we, uh, that we zip up. I don't know if you can hear that with this thing running. Let me turn this off. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's fairly warm in the suit, so it's got this uh, connection with the air that blows into it to keep air circulating and keep me cool. Fink is excited to teach Captain Wilmore his signature space move. It's called the Iron Man. So you put up one hand like this, and then you float up <laughs> into space. And uh, all my other teammates, they enjoyed it. Uh, Iron Man's one of my favorite guys. I can't wait to show it to you. I look forward to it. But they're not the only ones counting down to lift off. My wife, she works here at NASA, so in fact, I think my wife can't wait for me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> She's used to him being gone, apparently, but I tell you, they both have great sense of humor, and uh, they're going to have way too much fun in space. I'm disappointed because we didn't get to meet Nicole Mann. She's their third crew member. Now, she was recently named to NASA's Artemis team and could become the first woman to walk on the moon in wow. 2024. So that capsule has greatness and wonderful expertise. Um, and it's going to be fun to watch. The next test launch is set for March. That's the unmanned Starliner flight. And once that takes off, their manned flight will be about six months later. Oh, man. So hopefully August, September. So but we'll that certainly fall keep area. Yeah. Football yeah. season. Uh huh. Be watching a UT guy up in space as well. And he'll be watching football from the International yeah, Space Station. We do know that. <laughs>